Hey guys, how you doing? Coach Bitch with you again for another workout. So today's workout is going to be a full body workout and we will be using dumbbells today. So you will need a pair of dumbbells or kettlebells. We're going to be focusing on the upper body, the lower body, and there'll be a core block in there as well. Before we get started though, team, as always, we must warm up to physically and mentally prepare for that workout coming your way. Find yourself some space. Let's do it. Right, on, ladies and gents, we're going to start off with a lunge to torso rotation. So taking a step forward, remember legs should be at 90 degrees, hands in front, we're gently rotating across the front leg, stepping back to starting position, alternating sides. So really important that eyes follow the hands as we rotate. We're going to do four each side. So keeping that breathing going. And one more rep each side. Right on. Next we're going to head on down into that push up position for some wide mountain climbers. So hands below the shoulders. We're going to bring our foot to the outside of our hand or as far as we can, return back and alternate sides. So just keeping it there for a couple of seconds, we are gonna do four reps each side. This will be our last rep each side. Right, yeah. Standing up, we're going to head into a squat with a shoulder press. So just holding our hands up like this, pushing our hips back, driving up through the heels, and then just simply pressing overhead. Now I want you to imagine as if you are pressing a heavy weight above your head, we're going to do five reps to get that. Let's go. Nicely done. Heading on into our walk out to shoulder tap. So coming down, walking our hands out. Once in this position, four shoulder taps. So one, two, three, four. You can do these from your knees if you like. We do want to see minimal to no movement through the hips here. So really draw that belly button to the spine, squeeze those glutes, okay? So starting from the top, we're gonna to do five together. the mat and we're just going to go into five slow control sit up so arms nice and straight coming up wrist to the apex of the knee if you can manage it if not just come up to a little bit of a crunch we're going to do five together so our last one right over jumping up on your feet we're going to finish off with some star jumps. So jumping feet out, nice and soft through the knees. The option is, of course, is to step to the side if you need. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, team, there it is. Great job. Should be a little bit breathy. Muscles warmed up, mind prepped, ready to go. Watch this way. I'm gonna demonstrate and take you guys into block number one. Right, guys, so block one, we're gonna focus on your upper body. The block is gonna go for eight minutes. We've got three exercises, okay. We're gonna have the chest fly, we're gonna have a neutral grip bent over row, and then of course we're gonna finish off with some bicep curls. Get those guns ready for summer, okay. Watch this way for a demonstration of those exercises. Right, ladies and gents, we're gonna start with that chest fly, okay. So, 
Dumbbells in hand, we've got that neutral grip, knees are bent. From here, opening up through the chest, slight bend in the elbows, coming nice and wide, and then returning back to that starting position, okay? Remember, we don't want too much bend here because you're gonna turn it into a chest press, all right? So, that's your chest fly. We're then gonna stand up and we're gonna head on into your neutral grip bent over row. So making sure that we pick the weights up properly, shoulders back and down. From here, hinging forward, pushing the bum back, drive up, squeeze, lower, down, under control. Now, if you find your round out through your back, stand up, reset, start again, okay? We're gonna finish off with some bicep curls. So again, shoulders back and down. We wanna start neutral grip by the legs, gently rotating. Once we get past the legs, raise up to the shoulders, lower down, under control. We wanna keep those elbows into the side. We wanna come down to full arm extension when we lower. Now, if anyone's starting to swing, you can split your stance or sit down, okay? B3 exercise team, set yourselves up. We're about to get started. Right, our team, eight minutes on the clock, three exercises, 10 reps each, let's go. of the exercise, it's all those in-between bits and pieces that count as well. Hinging forward, neutral grip, pull, squeeze, lower down under control. Make sure there is no rocking with these bicep curls. You want to come down to full arm extension. There it is, one round done, team. So we're not really, I'm not particularly concerned about how many rounds you get out. We are cycling through but we really want to focus on good technique here.
really focus on that technique. Now, if whatever weight you have available to you, if you don't have a big range of weight, and you find that the weight you have, it's really hard to do 10 unbroken reps, that's okay, break it down into smaller chunks, but don't move on to the next exercise until you've got those 10 reps out. All right, let's keep going. Half minutes to go here. So not racing, trying to get rounds out. Really good controlled reps here. Set up at the start of each exercise, really important. No movement through the shoulder with these bicep curls either. And what I mean by that is this. Okay, we really want to isolate those biceps. Keep those shoulders back and down. So the only thing we're really moving here is our forearms. Bring them up towards the shoulder and then coming back down to that full arm extension. When we move through that shoulder joint, yes, it's easier, but it's easier because we're cheating and we're not using the biceps to raise that weight. So we've got just over one minute to go here. So keep chipping away at your exercises, maintaining that good technique the whole time. seconds, definitely enough time to get a few good reps of this row in. Shake that out. Arms um, should be feeling a little bit heavy because we have had those weights in hand for the best part of eight minutes. Not much time rest in there. Have yourself some water team, watch this way. I'm gonna take you guys in through block number two. Hey guys, we're about to head on into block number two. So block number two is gonna have a lower body focus. It is gonna go for eight minutes. We've got three exercises and those exercises are, we're gonna do a squat, to a calf raise, we're then gonna head on to into an alternate reverse lunge with torso rotation, and then finishing off with a lateral lunge. So watch this way for a demonstration of those exercises. 
Right out, ladies and gents. So, setup is important. Roll those shoulders back and down. Dumbbells in the arms by the side. Now, from here, we're gonna push those hips to the rear. We're gonna drive up through the heels and then once we're at full hip extension, we transfer that weight and come up onto our tippy toes for that calf raise, okay? Now, it's really important that we don't transfer that weight early. I don't wanna see anyone squatting on their toes, okay? So drive up through the heels as you're standing up, transfer the weight to the toes once we're at full hip extension. Right, for your next exercise, you only need one dumbbell, so put one down, holding dumbbell in front of the chest. We're gonna to head to that reverse lunge. Legs should be at 90 degrees. From here, rotating over that front leg, returning to the start position, and then alternating sides. Now, it's really important that when we do rotate, eyes follow the dumbbell, okay? Your options here are reduce your range of movement or do the exercise without a dumbbell, okay? Our last exercise is gonna be that lateral lunge. So we're gonna hold it in that goblet position. Feet together, we're gonna start stepping to the right. Now both feet should be facing forward. This leg should be nice and straight. Returning back to centre and then alternating sides, okay? You still wanna be nice and tall through the chest. You will naturally lean slightly forward, but we don't wanna collapse forward here, okay? So your reps are all at 10. Particularly for those lunges, it's 10 in total, not 10 each side. Let's set yourselves up, team. We're about ready to rock and roll. But right, ladies and gents, we got eight minutes on the clock, starting with that squat to calf raise in three, two, one, let's go. through the heels, transferring that weight to our toes for that calf raise once we're at full hip extension. So two separate movements here, we don't want to merge them into one and mess up our technique. So remember only one weight required for this alternate reverse lunge torso rotation. Just 10 reps in total here, not 10 each leg. So stay nice and strong through that torso, we don't want to be hunching forward. But I shake it out as you need, set yourselves up. Goblet position for the dumbbell in this lateral lunge. when you've done one round. So remember, it's not a race of how many rounds we can get out here. We're just looking for really good technique. Slow control reps. So that 
and spray with weight onto the toes, really important that we don't do that prematurely. Rush through these reps. It's long control. Keep going though team, don't stop early. Done and dusted. Tell about you. 
but the weights weren't super heavy, but those slow controlled movements can really get you working well done. So have yourselves a quick sip of water. I'm gonna take you guys in to block number three, which is gonna have a core focus. Righto guys, so we're gonna head on into block number three, your core block. It's gonna go for five minutes. We've got three exercises, all at 10 reps. We're gonna start off with the high plank position dumbbell tap. We're then gonna head on into the dumbbell double crunch, and we're going to finish off with the Russian twist. So watch this way for a demonstration of those exercises. Right, guys, so we're going to start your core block with your high plank position dumbbell tap, okay? So jumping into that high plank position, otherwise known as the push-up position, hands below the shoulders, we want to squeeze the glutes, draw that belly button to the spine. From here, we're going to reach out and tap the dumbbell, okay? Now, what we don't want to see is people rocking and rolling through the hips. You've really got to draw that belly button to the spine. You can have your feet a little bit wider for a more stable base, of course, your option here is you can drop down to your knees if you need, but we want that straight alignment, shoulders down through the knees. We don't want bums in the air just doing that, okay? So that's your first exercise. We're gonna head into the double crunch, all right? So this time, we're gonna have the dumbbell in the hand. We're gonna start from this fully extended position. From here, we're gonna come up, we're gonna bring the dumbbell towards the knees, so shoulder blades come off the ground, knees at that 90 degree angle, and then we're fully extending back out again, okay? Now, if you want a challenge, try not to let your feet or the dumbbell touch the ground in between your repetition, okay? A couple of options here. You can do this move without a dumbbell at all, so hands just reaching to touch towards the ankles, or from here, you can just simply bend your knees and you can come up for crunches or full sit-ups. Totally up to you, okay? We're gonna finish off, of course, with the Russian twist. So working through our obliques here. So, we wanna lean slightly back here, dumbbell in front. Now from here, as we rotate from side to side, eyes should follow the dumbbell, okay? If you want, you can place your legs into the ground, but they shouldn't be swinging all over the shop. You still want to control it. Another option here, team, for you guys is no weight. Just gently rotating. Imagine if you're holding weight, eyes still follow the hands for that movement, okay? So for the Russian twist, it's 10 in total, not 10 each side. Double crunch is 10. The plank taps are 10 in total as well. All right, set yourselves up, team. We're about to get stuck into block number three. All right, in five minutes starts now in three, two, one, let's go. done quickly, should be nice, slow and controlled, all three of them. Woo. When you're that slow, you feel the burn already. So remember, always take the time to set up properly. Ooh. One round down, I'm feeling that already. So we've got four minutes to go here. Nice setup before we start. Really important hands below shoulders here. Don't want to see that, okay? Hands directly below the shoulders. Make sure we set up correctly before we start.
those double crunches are a burner. So we've just gone past that halfway mark, just under two and a half minutes to go. takes us right to the end of that five minutes. How did you go? Woo. My core is burning. Righto, well done team. We're done and dusted on the working part, but don't go anywhere. We still need to stretch, which is why I'll take you guys through your stretches. Oh, nice, big, deep breath in, big breath out. We're about to finish up with some stretches. So we are gonna start with our quads, these big muscles in the front of our thighs. We're gonna grab the laces, knees together, and just pushing forward at the hips. Slight bend in that supporting leg. Whew. So again, you don't need a particularly heavy weight for that workout, as you may have discovered. Release that size change. Because you've pretty much got that weight in hand for nearly the whole eight minutes of each of those blocks. Okay, so even though the reps are just at 10, it's a bit of an endurance workout that goes for eight minutes and you've got those dumbbells in hand um, for the best part of that time frame. Righto, shake that out. So, we worked our cast today, so we're gonna take a large step back, press that rear heel into the ground, one arm across the body, thumb pointing down for that shoulder stretch as well. Now, if you don't have dumbbells and stuff like that around the house team, you're really only limited by your imagination, okay? Shake that calf out, shake that arm out, change sides. And what I mean by that is, you know, those long life milks, those two little long life milks, they're a couple of kilos each. You find some exercises to do with those, and that two kilos will start to feel like it's 10 kilos after a while, you know? Pop plants, gas bottles, there's lots of things, bricks. Look around your house. Don't use not having dumbbells as an excuse to not exercise and not train, okay? 
Cool, righto. Hands up, pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades at the back for that nice chest, chest stretch. And shake that out. We're going to do a bit of a bicep stretch as well now. We work with those biceps in that first block. So arms out to the side. We're going to rotate our wrists forward and point those thumbs and then pull those arms back. So I need that nice stretch in my biceps there. Just have a slight bend in those knees. finish off down on the ground with a glute stretch. Okay, so slowly leaning back on your right foot on your left knee, pressing that uh, right knee down towards the ground. Keep that breathing up. Gently release that. Change sides. Uh, as you guys probably know by right now, You've done a few of my workouts. I'm terrible on my left side. I am trying to get better. Keep breathing through it. And release. Well done, team. So that is your full body dumbbell workout done for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome day, whatever it is you're doing, um, and be good. And if you can't be good, you know what I say, team, be good at it. We'll see you soon.